What is an image label? Well, an image label is essentially just a label that displays image. It's like a text label, but displays images instead. So to add one, I'm going to click on my example GUI and I'm going to add up and I'm going to add up an image label. Okay, this image button, I'm just going to sort out my scale. Maybe make it we are 150 by 150 and I'll just plot it bottom, uh, top left, top left, why not? These labels have the exact same properties except image. This is a new property here. Got an image, an image color. Uh, uh, offset, size, which we don't really need to talk about too much, transparency, and a couple of other bits down here. So let's talk. Let's first of all, I'm going to add an image. It's my. This is a little sprint image. Uh, you can click add image and add one from your own uh, desktop. Now, image color. If I change this, it won't actually do anything. But if my uh, symbol wasn't fully black, say it was like white, I'd be able to change the image, the color of it here. But because it's just a pure black icon I can't. I can change the transparency so if I set that 0.5 the image is 0.5 if I set it as 1 it's completely transparent and you you get the gist. Okay so resample mode we've got pixelated and default so default it will try and size it up without making it too uh, without pixelating it but it will create a bit of blur however if you go for pixelated it will size it up but it will create uh, pixel type um, effect. Default is normally best to go especially if you have um, vector art or anything like that. Uh, if you're going for a bitmap kind of art I'd still go for default it just might create a bit of blur. If you want if you want a pixelated effect go pixelated but normally I'd recommend default. Scale type so we've got crop uh, it will basically crop the uh, image so as you see as we make it bigger it crops anything that's out of it uh, if we go for fit, it will fit it within the image. So if we, as we make this bigger, it just fits the image inside. Slice, what that does is essentially, as you get it bigger, it kind of sticks to a corner. And you can change the slice center. With stretch, it will stretch the image. This is the most commonly used one. But yeah, you can see it stretches the image, which isn't, oh, whoops, which isn't necessarily good. And tile, it's, it's basically a tile pattern. So with so with tile, what I can do is I can make this really big. You'll see it's kind of stretching at the minute. But then if I go to uh, tile size 0 0.1, 0 0.1, or sorry, let me open this up, 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.1, 0, you'll see it creates multiple uh, tiles. It kind of replicates them and creates tiles out of it. And you can play around with this, get it however you want, like that. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to leave that at, um, I'm going to go for stretch okay that's pretty much it for image labels everyone next video we're going to be going over image buttons so i'll see you then goodbye